the one question that keeps popping up is how do I prevent pinion gear from spinning on my motor shaft? And what I do to prevent this is I drill a small divot right where the grub screw lands, somewhere for it to sit into and it locks in there and it totally prevents any slippage. But if you have a used motor shaft, you'll have a little spot that you can see on your motor shaft where your pinion lands and you can just drill your divot there. If it's a new motor shaft, what I did was I just hollowed out the grub screw just with the drill press and then I'll put it on, set it in the truck, have it set up as if I were driving it, matched up with the spur gear. And I clamp it down to where it's supposed to be, stick it in the drill press, and just drill through until you got yourself somewhere to start drilling. Then remove that. Then match up a drill bit to the size of the grub screw to match so it's got somewhere to sit like this one does and then it doesn't take much just drill down into it until you got just a bit so that there's somewhere for that grub screw to sit and just regular put it on with your Loctite and you end up with one that will not slip should be good to go. Test fit it in the truck to make sure it lines up properly with your spur gear so you know where to drill. One thing I hear on the forums all the time is how do I prevent my X-Max from shredding its Traxxas gears? Spur gear and pinion gear. There's only one way I know of how to prevent Traxxas gear from being shredded. Go out and get Hot Racing GDS or go one point, come on, 1.5. That is garbage. Either don't use the pins or don't always listen to the pins. Just because it says what size doesn't necessarily mean that this is a 2350 setup. And I think I'm on like 2050 or something on the pin. Uh, what you're looking for is that little sound. You just want just a little bit of movement. And it's better to go too tight than too loose. Too tight you'll know right away. It'll be loud. When you let off the throttle, it'll slow down quick. You'll build excessive heat. But you won't wreck your gears immediately. Too loose and you're going to be wrecking gears pretty quick. And make sure when you check your mesh you check it all the way around to make sure you get the same all the way around. Um, in case you have a bent shaft or something, you might be able to prevent something before you get into further damage.